I will. Uh, I don't know actually. I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration of the Efix F7. Uh, I'll try to be as detailed as I can. Um, I actually like the device. Maybe you look at the guy. <laughs> no, I actually like the device. It's pretty good. The tilt sensor is pretty nice as well. Um, so yeah, this is the one. It's relatively small with the USB port and the UHF port in there. It actually comes with a protective cover for the people that bash it into walls all the time, which is relatively nice. All right. So what we'll do is we'll demonstrate the um, the tilt sensor and some of the features in the in the data collector as well. So this is the data collector that comes with it. Oh, stop one. Chill. It actually comes with a pen as well. So if you're wearing gloves, uh, you don't have to take them off, and you can just touch whatever you want. And just record this as well so you can actually see what's going on on the screen all right this is the pole that comes with it all right Normally you just set it at like two meters. There's numbers on there and you can put a pin in there. Makes it easy to do. Then you have the bracket. Just click it on there. This one just clicks on here. Let's look. Clicks on like that. And then just put it in there. And that's basically it. Now, for the um, setup, if it's recording or not yeah it is um but for the setup you need to make sure that you got an internet connection i don't have a sim card in it so i'll just do it with the um with the hotspot of my phone it works fine if it works it would be nice <laughs> There you go. All right. And then it's actually relatively easy. Um, all you have to do is go to device connection. You select the device that you have, which is the serial number. It's already pre-selected in here. You can set it on auto connect. Um, so you don't have to go through this setting every single time. You can do the same with the RTK network. Uh, so every time you turn it on, it will automatically connect and well, automatically uh, put it into a fixed mode. But for now, we'll just connect it like that. There you go. Um, basically, to start, oh, well, it's already fixed. There you go. Normally, what you have to do if you haven't set it up yet, you'll have to create a work mode which is basically um, you just tell the receiver what to do. It's got internet in the PDA network. Uh, I want to receive NTRIP via this uh, NTRIP caster. Just fill in the settings and off you go and just hit accept 
and then you're ready to do your measurements. It's already fixed. Um, all you have to do now basically is uh, set up the IMU, which is technically just IMU. It's going to tell you to rock it back and forth. Twice, and that's it. So now the tilt sensor is activated so you can hold it at an angle. They say up to 60 degrees. But we'll test it out. Um, then in terms of the software, you can set up a new project. I've got one running up here already. You can do a new one. Just give it any name you want. Um, you can take the values from the previous um, project that you had running. So you don't have to fill it in every single time. I mean, we can set it up if you want. Then you can create the coordinate system that you want to measure in. I mean, we're in the Netherlands right now. So we're using the RD uh, NAP, the latest one. But you can basically, well, every single one of them is in there. So you can just select whatever country you want and measure in the local coordinate system. So that's the one, we'll just use the ones from the previous. Um, it's the same with the code list, you can do the same thing, you can add your own code list if you have it. But basically just hit OK and then you're ready to go in your new project. Um, you got the survey button and the stakeout button. That is all relatively easy as well, now we're in survey mode. Uh, you can select a point, you can select a line. Uh, you can add a code to it. We had some pre-codes um, in there already. You can add new ones, which is basically just fill in the name. You can say whether it's a point or a line. You can add a description to it. You can add a symbol to it. So I'm not sure what you guys are using, but you can do whatever. <laughs> Uh, you can add it to a layer, you can add a new layer in there as, you, as well as you want. You can add an attribute to it. So, for example, if you want, for every single point, you want to add a, um, a code. You can give it a number or a text or well, whatever you want. You can make sure it's required so people don't miss it. And then I should have hit save because it didn't do that. Okay, done, okay, then it's there. Good. Hit OK, and well, that's the point that we want to do. we we'll use that one for now. All you have to do is select the coat you want to put it on. Hill Tailser is already ready. You can hit OK, it's measuring, and it's basically stored in there. Now, you didn't have to put in the code yet, so you can say um, in the settings, you can basically tell it, no, it's in feet, it's made an error in there, give me one second. I put it in US feet, which is not what I want. There we go. Done. Done. <coughs> Done. All right. Let's try it again. So now the point is stored in there. Uh, you didn't have to fill in the code because. Um, just bypass that. You can do that later if you want to. But you can also say in the settings, you can say um, confirm before saving. And then next time you store a point. You get a confirmation text. And you can go through all the settings, make sure everything's all right. You can make sure all the quality parameters are good. Here you can fill in the attribute. So. Well, code one, 
Oh, shouldn't have done that. Edit last point. You can also add a picture to it if you want to. There you go. And that's all stored with the with the point. So simple as that. Um, for stakeout, we've actually measured a point up there already. Um, we can import the data um, relatively easy. Let me just quickly delete this. Okay. Now for the point that we want to measure, we go in there, import. That's this one. Put it in there. And then go into point stakeout, which is that point there. All right. Make sure that is all good. All right, now I'm in stakeout mode, so it's basically telling me to walk up to that point there. So if you want to. which is this one right here. That's the point. As you can see, and here it starts beeping. Let's zoom in. So I set the value at three centimeters, so everything between in between three centimeters is good. But as you can see, it just stays within that value. There's a bit over there. If I move it away, then it's gone. If I move it back on the point, it's back in there. But that's basically it. And even when you hold it upside down, it loses its sticks, which is something that people want to, for some reason, see as well. I don't know why. And then if you move it back up, it's fixed. And you're back in there. So yeah, it's that um, it's that easy, actually. So that's the stakeout version and the and the tilt sensor. Um, there is another feature that people do like, which is the um, continuous survey feature which is basically you tell the device um, that it needs to measure a point every you can do it in time but you can also do it in distance so you can do like 2d distance 3d or in time we'll do the 2d one we'll basically tell it take a point every um, just give me a second yeah Make sure that one is off. All right. Do it again. So now we're basically telling it to take a measurement every two meters. So if we do continue walking, we zoom out. As you can see, it starts collecting the points every two meters. You can do the same one in time. But um, yeah, that's basically it. Simple as that.